Hey, what's good guys? John here and we finally got our hands on a vehicle with Tesla Vision and we're going to be doing the ultimate test here. So if you guys want to stay tuned for every single one of them, make sure to hit that subscribe and the bell notification. This is going to be a test of all tests. We're going to be testing every little aspect of Tesla Vision here. So let's just flip the camera around real quick and you guys will see that we are on build 2023.6.9 and that's the build that you want to be on so obviously the first test you guys all want to know is how it works in the blind spot so that's the first one we're going to do here i have anna here with me let's head outside and let's take a look at the blind spot of this vehicle so as you guys know the blind spot can only be seen from up top there pretty much down to here and that means that this whole area is a blind spot now obviously you guys wouldn't want to do this to test anything out but Anna's gonna get down in this blind spot area and just try to duck underneath um, as close as possible to the blind spot and just kind of stay down there so the camera can't see ya all right let's head back on inside and I'm just gonna flick it on all right guys this is something you guys wouldn't want to be doing it is picking up something right now if you guys can see here um i think the door is closed so give me one second all right so you see it doesn't pick up anything here really so if i reverse the vehicle you're gonna notice that it will start to pick her up and as the camera starts to see her i'm i can see her right now and the camera still can't pick up anything there's still nothing which is weird but if I put it into drive, let's go. And still nothing, still nothing. So this is either a gigantic fail or what, but I can definitely see her and it's unable to see her. So really weird. So obviously that one failed. So I'm gonna ask Anna to lay down. Uh, so if you can lay straight down. All right, head back inside again. All right. So let's take a look here. Put it into reverse. It's definitely detecting something on the screen there but let's go back a little bit make sure i don't hit her but yeah still nothing it doesn't detect anything but as i start to go back it still doesn't see anything so this one's an obvious fail so the next test here is going to be the ducking down aspect of it so and let's duck down from the side b pillar camera and i'm gonna try to move the car it doesn't show anything right now except the front you can see her right there on the side. All right, so it does seem like it does pick her up right there. So honestly, this one's a pass. All right, for the next test here, we have the screen still doing a squiggly thing right now, which isn't that important, but we have Cooper's little bear and we're gonna put it right at the front bumper here, just like where she was. And let's see if the car detects it. This one's gonna be a little bit easier because I can actually go right through it. But um, let's see if we see the bear on the ground first. So it's right there and let's go forward. And it's detecting something. I think it is the bear. Did I hit the bear yet? There you go. It says to stop. And let's see outside if it hit the bear or how close we are. Oh, wow. There you go. So it's really accurate in this case, guys. I'm really impressed. I can't believe that it got literally down to the centimeter or literally right at the bottom bumper right here. Really impressed. All right. So this test here is just going to be Anna jumping straight in front of the vehicle. So it's not detecting anything. All right. So Anna's just walking straight to the front of the bumper to touch it. And it's not saying anything. It's not saying to stop. And it's still showing that I have about 40 centimeters to go. Although it's just literally touching her knees right now. So something that... It needs to be fixed all right guys so i'm sure most of you are probably wanting to see this but uh you guys were wondering about the rain situation what it's like if the camera gets blurred up because of rain let's try to imitate that with just a little spray of water right here right underneath the camera bumper so go ahead all right and just keep spraying on it while i go inside and let's see what it's like on the camera yeah it doesn't seem that effective so i'm gonna go back a little bit i'm gonna go back all right, so it seems like if you start spraying it too much, uh, it's going to say parking unavailable, which is something you guys have to be aware of. I think this is what a lot of people were saying about uh, with the rain situation. As soon as it starts to rain, you're going to notice that it's going to say park assist unavailable. So the next test we have here is going to imitate the sun. Uh, although we don't have that much sun right now, we're going to use the camera on her phone. And we're gonna put it directly into the camera here and see if that affects the parking sensor at all while I'm trying to back up. So just gonna be careful if I'm backing up a little bit too quickly. All right, so. All right, so I'm gonna try to back up. 
yeah, so that totally uh, destroys Park Assist uh, in general, and it says Park Assist unavailable. Uh, that's kind of obvious, to be honest, because you're blocking it completely, but try to imagine the sun just pointing right into the camera up front here and on the sides. It would definitely disable uh, Park Assist. Okay, guys, so we're done for our first part here of the testing. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos like this, especially on the second half of the video. You guys are going to see in part two that I'm going to be doing some tests that normally people wouldn't be doing to their vehicles anyways, and Anna's definitely going to be there as well. So stay tuned for that, guys, and make sure you guys hit the subscribe and the bell notification as soon as I post. You guys will be the first to know. So uh, take care, guys. This is John. Once again, peace out.